Hi everyone, welcome. I'm Maggie of maggiesbus.com for anyone who doesn't know. We're doing a quick session today of chatting. <laughs> Last week we did yoga. This week we're, um, the energy I was feeling today is a little different than what was coming through on Tarot, our Oracle uh, Tuesday. So today I just, the feeling is that there are a lot of people right now who need a hug, who need to be seen, who need to cry and let loose some of that extra energy. Sometimes, especially if you have a lot of water in your astrological chart, you'll feel like you need to cry. And that is a way of just releasing the gunk. So um, whenever you feel like crying, don't hold back. Just let it out when you can, right? So um, here's your virtual smudge. And then I just, you know, in regards to the whole I see you, just wanted to show you some cards that I pulled that I think are very appropriate to what I was feeling with the energy in the field today. So hopefully everyone knows they are deserving of receiving love, giving love, and they are enough. You are enough, and I see you. And for those of you who all, you know, we all need this, right? We're all human. We all need to be connected and feel seen and heard. And we all need to cry. So when you need to cry, cry. If you need a hug, ask someone you trust for a hug. If they don't already intuit, bring it in, right? Building an arc. <laughs> Kathleen. <laughs> so my awesome Sedona mug that I love so much. It's tea time. <laughs> I have chai tea with me, some honey. And I always have it with my, uh, just so you guys know, I always have my tea with uh, ginger snaps, uh, just a few ginger snaps. I like to call it tea and crumpets time, even though I know crumpets are not <laughs> cookies, but it sounds so cool to say it with your British accent, right? <laughs> uh, we like to pretend. <laughs> it's fun. So hopefully everyone is having a good Thursday, heading uh, almost into the weekend, right? And hopefully that's a peaceful thing to think about for everyone. <laughs> Either way, right, we can reset ourselves now. We can reset ourselves now and say, okay, take a breath. Right now is good. Right now is okay. Right now I can call in my guides and angels when I need them. Right now I can cry. I can hug someone else. If I, I need a hug, maybe I'm going to go out and I'm just going to hug someone else and they needed it just as much as you did. So that's something. So I just want to tell you, I pulled some cards today. So the first uh, deck I pulled is this amazing deck. I love it. Super Attractor, Gabrielle Bernstein. I love this deck. You can, I like get obsessed with this deck um, and when you're like finding like, I don't know what to intend, I want to, you know, align with some positive uplifting vibrations. This is a great deck where you can just flip through the cards and keep reading until you f feel like you've reset yourself. But the card for today from here is to remember you are enough. I trust that my powerful intentions combined with my faith are enough to allow my vision to become my reality. You are enough and your reality is created by how you feel and how much you think you deserve. How much do you deserve? You deserve the world. And th this is um, very, uh, <laughs> right, very much appropriate to what I pulled from the other deck. Let me show you. Uh, it's, we are heading into the new moon Saturday. So, of course, I'm going to pull out the new moon intentions oracle cards by Sage Goddess. Beautiful deck. So it, it was just right there ready for me, this deck. So uh, here we are, burning to connect. Uh, the number numerologically, right? <laughs> if I say that right, say that five times fast. So is number, it's 50, which reduces to five, of course. And again, just like Tuesday, that's transformation. That's the year we're in, 2021, reduces to five. So it's transformation, it's change, and it's going to be for the better. So what we have here is... The intention, I seek to embrace and connect with others as a means of expanding my capacity to give and receive love. By loving and connecting openly, I receive the energies of others, which enhance my life. Through these connections, I learn new skills and gain new tools for my practice. And stone recommendation, azurite, great for the third eye as well, opening your psychic abilities. And the essential oil is blue lotus, one of my favorites, high in vibration, truly gets you calm and peaceful. It's so good. So we have these two cards um, diving deeper into the energies, right? Just letting us know that we're enough. 
right now, we don't have to do anything. We need moments of nothingness to transition into the next thing. Oh, I just realized I have my cough drop wrapper there. Silly me. So anyway, <laughs> who you are is enough. It doesn't matter if you have a silly cough drop wrapper on <laughs> in the video. <laughs> it doesn't. And what matters is I see you, that you have these messages that come in and the energy is felt in the ether, right? Everyone is feeling this energy. So if you're, you know, being called and feeling the need to cry or to be hugged, just know that I see you and a virtual hugs to you all, of course. And these messages are a way to just help you keep realigning yourself to what is and what can be, you know, become more because your reality can be as much as you feel you deserve, as much as you feel you can uplift your energy, and as much as you feel you can stay dedicated to that. You know, whenever we feel like we're down, align yourself back to that higher vibration, whatever that is, seeing pictures of your pets, your kids, your out in nature, like those, there are steps to take that will align your energy and uplift it fast or, or slow, right? Crystals do it for me and bring vibrations and uplift me and essential oils will do it. And meditating is huge. Breath work. I want to go into some breath work techniques with you maybe next week um, because those are powerful for getting you into an alternate state, but also to just align your uh, left and right side of your body, your brain to align you with peace and tranquility and harmony. Um, so many things can come from, from breath work, a lot of like inner work. And uh, someone was asking about my statue <laughs> last week. This is Kuan Yin. I love her. I don't remember where I got her. I'm pretty sure it was Amazon though, of course. So <laughs> Kuan Yin, <laughs> bringing in the motherly love, the unconditional love that everyone actually is really, really needing today. So just take yourself into a nice calming meditation. You can close your eyes right now and do it for one minute. Do it for 30 seconds and just see yourself being hugged by a loving motherly figure. Someone who just loves you unconditionally. Because as you're seeing it and feeling it and experiencing it and enjoying it and leaning into it, you truly are in it. You truly are in that reality, right? Multiverse. <laughs> so let's not dive too deep into that. We'll go down the rabbit hole, but remember, uh, you are enough. Where you are right now is enough. And just remember to give yourself the love and nurture that you are seeking. Okay. And have an amazing Thursday. I hope to see you guys soon.